We want to introduce the difference between a real image and a virtual image uh, in this video. So right here we have an object. Uh, the three principal rays are shown here. Uh, notice this top ray uh, bends at this point as if the lens were tall enough uh, to reach it. If I make the lens bigger, we can see that that's uh, just principal ray number one up there. Uh, so here's our object, here's our image being formed where the three principal rays intersect. Uh, and I'm going to start dragging the object closer to the incoming focal point. So as I do this, uh, the image moves further away from the lens. And as I pass the focal point, you can see now that the three principal rays are no longer intersecting. Uh, these two rays are slightly spreading apart as they get further away from the lens, uh, and this ray up here is clearly nowhere near intersecting. And so our image seems to have disappeared. Uh, what in fact we have is rather than having a real image, rather than having an image that appears over on the real side of the lens, we have a virtual image. So there is still an image formed, but it's now formed over on the virtual side of the lens. This is where the real and virtual uh, terms come from. And we find this virtual image again from the three principal rays. Uh, so we have this ray up here. This is what we imagine passing through the focal point on the incoming side. Uh, and then once it hits the lens, it goes on. This ray isn't, this uh, first principal ray here isn't really getting us anything for the virtual image. But here is um, principal ray number two comes into the lens and then passes through uh, the focal point, the outgoing focal point, the focal point on the real side. This ray, if we trace it back as shown in green, that's what this curve is. Uh, here's our other principal ray uh, that goes through the center of the lens. Tracing that back in green, we see that those two rays uh, when traced back, appear to intersect at this point up here. Uh, and actually there's a green line here that is principal ray number one being traced back. All three of these appear to intersect at this point. Uh, that is how we find the position of our virtual image. Um, we can also, we can still use the lens equation for virtual images. Uh, in this case, for the picture we're looking at right now, uh, it's a converging lens, so the focal length would be a positive number. The object is on the virtual side where we expect it to be, uh, so the object distance would be a positive number. However, the image is also on the virtual side. The image is not where we expect it to be. Uh, it's over on the virtual side, and so the image distance uh, in the lens equation would be negative in this case. Uh, so this is a virtual image where we find it by tracing uh, the principal rays back and seeing where they appear to come from, as opposed to a real image, which we get by tracing the principal rays forward and finding where they actually do intersect. Uh, one other important difference between a real image and a virtual image, uh, if instead of, if we imagine putting a screen here, this is similar to what you'll do in lab, uh, so here we have a lamp, here's a little screen where we're trying to find the image. If I move this screen to where those principal rays intersect, I get a nice tight little focused image here. If I move my light source in front of the incoming focal point, I can still trace these rays back and still find right here is where the virtual image would be but it will not show up on the screen. Um, I suppose I can't move the screen over to that side uh, to see it in the simulation. But the only way we can see this virtual image is by looking through the lens. Uh, we have to be over here on the, on the real side looking through the lens and we would see a virtual image over here. But if we were to place uh, a screen or a piece of paper here, we would not be able to get um, the image to show up the way we could if it were a real image, where we could put a screen there and see an actual image show up on the screen. Uh, so that is the other important difference between real and virtual images.